Hey guys, this is Chris Miller here from the Lawcraft, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a Counter Strike Source server with Steam CMD. Steam CMD is basically HLDS update tool, but HLDS update tool got obsolete. Got obsolete, my bad. To the new, uh, I guess, file conversion or game conversion files or something like that. Anyways, all I know is you can't use it, and uh, as bad laws, ed, everything with Z's, whatever. Alright, first uh, you're going to go to your Windows Explorer, and you're going to use your C drive, and you're going to make two folders. The first folder you're going to make, or honestly, it doesn't have to go in this pattern, but you're going to make a folder called Steam, CMD, and you're going to make another folder. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name this C uh, CSS. This is going to be where you put your uh, files in and shit. Lol. So now you're going to go to this website. I'll post it in the description. I'm going to download this uh Windows file right here. This is not a Linux uh, tutorial. Just letting people know that I guess. Lol. Add everything with lol. All right, whatever. So uh, go download this. Open this up. Click Extract to. You're gonna go to your C drive. Uh, find Steam CMD. And click OK. Then you can close out of this, I guess. Then you're gonna uh open up. Uh, Steam CMD. You're gonna run. Sorry about that. I was like, like a fail of a burp. You're gonna run it up. Just double click it. it doesn't ask for an administrator or anything. All right. Uh, pretty fast install, I guess. Uh, you can minimize this. Now you're gonna go to. Uh, you're gonna type this in. Login. Space. Anonymous. And it should say connecting anonymously to Steam Public. So. You can download stuff. I would not recommend logging with your Steam account. This would not allow you to download the uh, uh, CSS server file, I guess. May take some time. Alright, we're connected. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to type force install. Un wait, uh, my bad. Force underscore install. Underscore. Uh, dir space c uh, colon slash uh, whatever your server name is so mine css then slash again or you don't have to do any slash but I don't know I would just do it to be safe did I do it right? Oh, I spelled it wrong lol There we go. Well, I thought I did something wrong for a second. Now you're going to type in, uh, what should be down here? Uh, oh, okay. App. Update. Oh, app underscore update. Space. Uh, two three. Two three. Three zero. And, uh, Validate. Oh, no, you don't have to type in validate, my bad. Anyways, you can just hit enter from there. Then it should be installing. This is actually a very fast installation. Well, for me it was. No, it's coming up as zeros. Claw. Anyways, uh, just gonna sit here. I would like to point out this is faster than a uh, HLDS update tool.
Alright, I'm sorry I had to make you guys wait through that crap. Uh, I just realized I could have just paused my video, but I had to pee anyway, so I guess it worked out. Now you can just type in quit. Uh, you can exit out of this if you want. I'm going to minimize it so I can have the link for later. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, your CSS folder. Everything's in here. Don't mind this. This is just basically when you want to update everything. Now, you're going to right click this. You're going to click uh, create a shortcut. <coughs> and there, fail burp, I guess. Now you're going to, I'm going to post this in the description. You're going to copy this. You're going to right click. Go to properties. Where it says target, you're going to paste. And uh, if you guys are using a different directory, say you're using a CSS server, then you would change this part right here. But uh, uh, my directory is CSS, so we're, we're we good. Lol. And then you're going to hit apply, OK. And uh, you're going to run it up. Uh, this will come up the first time you run it up. And I do not have a server CFG installed. I will post a link where you can make your own, which I recommend if you want to play with bots and shit. Uh, close out of this again. You're going to start it up again. Then everything should be uh, coming up. And if you were using HLDS update tool, uh, it would come up right here, like master something, restart, please restart your server. Anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please rate.